Hi yogis, Nin from Nin Yoga. Today we have a really nice bedtime stretch for helping you forget your day, unwind and get a good night's rest. So what you'll need for this practice, if you like just to help you settle down a bit more, is a pillow, a rug and maybe light some candles, put some lavender oil scent burner on and get into some comfy clothes and let's begin. Now just bringing yourself into easy pose, so cross your legs, loop the shoulders round and back, inhale and exhale. Inhale, bringing the palms above you, stretch, stretch out your armpits, and then bringing your palms together, down to your chest. And then I'd like you to interlace the hands, the fingers, and then push up with your fingers to your chin, and then push up your chin upwards. So try and have your hands underneath. Inhale here and exhale coming down to centre, put your hands on your knees and then just dropping your chin to your chest, feel that stretch out of your spine and then moving your right ear to your right shoulder and that should feel really nice in the left hand side of the neck. Come back to centre and then dropping your left ear to your left shoulder and feel that nice stretch through the right hand side of your neck. Come back to centre, clasp your palms together. Take an inhale and an exhale. Now come forward on your mat into a tabletop pose. So have your hands and your palms under your shoulders and have your knees hip width apart. And from here, we're just gonna circle around, bringing our chest forward and then back, feeling effects of the day wear off and then go round the other way lovely just releasing any anxiety any tension and then come back to center and just look down to your navel so you can try and get your spine straight and then bringing your right leg behind you out straight and just pull and stretch through the calves. So tuck your toe under and stretch out. Maybe move forward and back, just pedaling there, helping you get that deep stretch in your leg. And then I'd like you to come into a low lunge. So bring your right foot between your palms and just feel this lovely deep stretch in your hips here. Maybe just circle around again, feeling your way. Just finding, checking in that your knee is stacked above your ankle. Push down through the hips. Inhale and exhale. And then bringing your hips back. We're gonna take a half split, so try and straighten up your right leg, lifting your right foot off the ground and flexing it. Just let your head hang here, trying to bring your forehead down to your right knee. Wonderful. Now bending your right knee again, coming back into a lunge. Place your palms either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under and will come into a downward facing dog. So bringing your heels down to the mat, having your ears 
next to your biceps and try if you can to push your chest towards your thighs and pedaling it out slowly. Let the blood come to your head, releasing tension as we've been letting the blood flow in the other direction all day. Now from here, come onto your knees and we're just gonna walk forward with our palms, bringing our chest down to the mat. And then if you can, just make sure that your hips are always just above your knees and your chest is coming flat onto the mat. And if you can, bring your hands together and bring them towards your neck. And this is our puppy pose. Breathing out the day, finding peace. Exhale, bringing the palms down to the mat. Then come onto your forearms. And then coming back, back into a tabletop pose. And we'll just circle around again, finding our center. And then circle back the other way for two. And then we're gonna take a proper cat cow. So inhale, bringing your tailbone in and bringing your chin down towards your chest. Arch your spine. Inhale here and then exhale, bringing your chest forward and your tailbone up, bringing your belly down to the mat. And look up. We'll take that again. Inhale, arching spine. Let the head hang neutrally. Tuck the tailbone in. Exhale, bring the belly down. The tailbone up and open up the chest. And from here, we'll come back to center and just look down to your navel and then bring your left foot out straight behind you and tuck under your left toes and then just pedal here and feel that lovely stretch in your calf. Maybe adjust your knee just so you can get a deeper stretch here. Do what feels right for you. Wonderful. And then as we did on the other side, I'd like you to bring your left foot forward this time between your palms, checking in that that knee is bent and at a 90 degree angle and press down through your hips. Just feel your hips open and how liberating that feels. Trying to find space in a place where you may not normally be able to. Inhale, bring your hips back, straightening out your left leg this time and having your palms to support you either side of you and then flexing your left foot and trying to bring your forehead down to your left knee. Inhale. then bringing your left foot down to the mat, bending your left knee, and then we'll tuck our right toes under, put our palms down either side of our left foot, and step back into a downward facing dog. And just stay here for three breaths, pressing down through our palms into the earth, Stretching our calves. And then I'd like you to walk forward on your mat. And from here, I'd like you to bring your feet out to the side of your mat and just have them so they're facing diagonally and can support you. And then slowly begin to squat down maybe bringing your elbows in line with your knees and just feel your way into this pose 
it might not come straight away. And there's an option here to keep your hands on the mat as we come into Malasana Yogi Squat. So here, if you want to, keep your palms on the mat. If you want to take it a little bit further, bring your palms together, pressing your elbows into your knees and try as much as you can to keep your spine straight. And this is really wonderful for opening up your hips. Again, releasing you from maybe the counter poses you've been doing all day. Just take a few breaths here. And exhale, begin to bring your palms to the mat. Just stabilize yourself here, maybe coming forward on your chest a little bit. And then begin to come into a forward fold. So bringing your feet hip width apart. You can bend your knees if you need to. And just come into this forward fold position. And then what we're going to do is cross our right foot behind our left and then moving with our arms to the left, our palms on the mat, and just feel that stretch going all the way up through your right hand side. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, walking your hands to the center, bringing your left, right foot back to the center. And then do the same on the other side. So bring your left foot now behind your right and walk over towards the right hand side with your palms and feel a great beneficial stretch through your left hand side. Inhale and exhale. And let your head drop down, let go of any tension that you might be inviting in. And then bringing your palms to the center, uncross your feet. And we're gonna come up into a standing pose. Roll the shoulders back and just find your center and ground yourself here. And then we're gonna bring our right foot out in front of us and then step back with the left. Now here, just check in. Is the arch of your left foot in line with your right heel? And you should have a line, ideally, between them. Then bending your right leg, making sure that your right knee is at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, bringing the arms out parallel above the mat. And then, just maybe bringing your shoulder blades together and then turning with your right palm up. And this is a pose called warrior two. So just if you can, look over towards your right shoulder and bend in to this pose and feel the benefits again through your hips, but also through your spine and through your balance. Taking an inhale here, lifting your right arm up, bringing your left arm to your left thigh. Reverse warrior. Looking up towards your right palm. And then I'd like you to slowly cartwheel your arms down to your right shin and straighten up your right leg. Now this might be enough. So here we're in a pose called triangle pose, trikonasana. So bring your right arm down to your right shin. Or if you like to take it further, you might be able to come all the way down to the mat, but take care that you don't slump forward with your shoulders, keep them open and just feel that wonderful stretch down through your right leg. Beautiful. Bringing the palms down onto the floor. Bring them to the center here, the long side of your mat. 
and then begin to bend your right knee and flex your right foot as we come into a pose we call a skandhasana. So that's a really nice deep stretch for your right leg. And then we'll come onto the other side, bending this time your right knee and flexing your left foot. And then just take that over to the other side again, bending your left knee and then bringing over towards your right. And then come back to centre. And from here, we're going to do a warrior two pose. So twizzle out your left foot towards the front of your mat and step back with your right foot. And maybe have it in a diangular, diangular, a diangle, diagonal, <laughs> that's the word, diagonal position. Bend your left knee and cartwheel up with your palms and just check in again. Now to try it in a line. Your right arch with your left heel and have your knee bent at a 90 degree angle, bringing the palms out beside you. Bring the shoulders together so that you can check in your spine straight. Then turning your left palm upwards and look over at your left shoulder. Inhale here, exhale, pressing down through the hips and then bringing your right palm down to your right thigh and lift up with your left looking up to your left palm, reverse warrior. Inhale through the obliques and then straightening up your left leg, cartwheeling your arms down, bringing your left arm to meet the left shin, opening up your shoulders here. Don't let them slump forward. Opening up, and if you want, you might be able to come down with your left palm to the mat and look up over your right shoulder. Triangle pose. Stretch through that left hamstring. Inhaling oxygen into that area of tension. Exhale and cartwheeling down with the palms and then bring your palms to the long side of your mat and we're going to take a couple of skandhasanas again so bending your right knee here and this time flex your left foot now this is really important to flex your feet because it's really helpful to support the knees inhale here feel that nice stretch on the hamstring then come back to center and we'll take a wide-legged forward fold so here have your toes maybe pointing in towards each other let your head hang down if you need to bend your knees here or maybe use the prop but if you want to take it a little bit further grab your ankles and let your head hang down And from here, bringing your palms to your hips, your waist, and slowly with control, begin to pull yourself up into a standing position. Hands still on your hips and just make sure the blood's come back to your head. And then step to the front of your mat, feet hip width apart. Take an inhale, palms above you, stretch up through the body. Exhale, bring your palms together, then rooting your Palms to the earth, let your head hang forward. Inhale, halfway fold, back straight. Exhale, down to the mat and step back and take a flow. So plank position, come onto your knees if you need. Then begin to spread your elbows into your ribs, chest, chin, forehead. Lifting up into cobra. And then bringing your seat back to your heels, stretching out through the spine, tucking the toes under into a downward facing dog. Just stay here and press down through the calves and then bringing your right foot between your palms, come into a low lunge. Now this might be enough for you. 
and that's absolutely fine. But if you want to have a bit of a stretch in your quads too, begin to bend your left leg, bringing your right palm over your head and just hold on to your left foot. Look over your right shoulder. And then with control, let go of your left foot. Bring your palms out in front of you. And then I'd like you to walk back and slowly bringing your seated area down onto your left leg and have your right foot out in front of you. And then bring your forehead towards your right knee and walking forward with your palms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then bending your right knee, have it at 90 degrees. And now what I'd like you to do is bring your palms both to the left hand side of your right foot and then heel toe your right foot out to the side. Center your palms and then just maybe tuck your left toe under and lift up and bring back your left leg and we'll come into a lizard pose. Just take three breaths here. Then I'd like you to heel toe back to centre. Come back into a low lunge. And then step back into a down dog. Just momentarily here before bringing your left foot forward in between the gates of your palms. Then bend your left leg. And then this might be enough for you just to have your left leg bent and your right leg lifted. But if you want to take it a little further, bringing your arm over and meeting your right leg with your left palm. And feel that lovely stretch in your quad. And then take a breath here and then exhale, bringing your right foot down to the mat. And then as we did before, just walking back with our palms, bringing our seated area onto our right leg. And then just walking forward with your palms and bringing your forehead down towards your left knee and just feel that stretch there. And then begin to come up into a low lunge. So press up with your palms and bend your left knee. And here what I'd like you to do is bring your left arm into the center of the mat and have your palms at the right hand side of your left foot and then heel toe your left foot out to the side and then maybe tuck your right foot under and just stretch out your right leg a bit further back and come into a lizard pose. And then heel toe back to centre, bring your palms down to the mat. And then come back into a downward facing dog. And just let your head hang here, stretch out through your biceps. Have your ears parallel to your bicep, push down to the earth, rooting down in this upside down V shape that brings so much benefit, helps the brain unwind, bring blood and circulation. 
and then slowly bending your knees. I'd like you to come down and sit down on the mat and have your legs out in front of you. And from here, I'd like you to lift up with your palms and lean forward from your hips and put your palms onto your shins. And then if you like, maybe reaching forward with your palms around your feet. And we'll come here into a forward fold. Feeling that lovely stretch down your lower spine here. It's really beneficial for countering some of those poses we were doing. Inhale, coming back to seat and bending your right knee here and then look out over towards, over your right shoulder and maybe your left arm could clasp around your left, right knee. Straighten the leg out, then bending your left leg and then maybe clasping your right arm around your left leg and look out over your left shoulder here. Then coming back to centre and come down onto your mat, onto your back. And here is where you might like to grab a pillow. And just sink in here. Then bringing your right knee towards your chest. And then slowly and mindfully begin to straighten up your right leg and grabbing, try to grab around your right ankle. You can bend your knees here if you like, but just open up the hips as we do a reclined split. Feel, we rock from side to side. Inhale into this pose, just bring it up a little further. Exhale down to the mat. And now bring your left knee in, hugging it towards your chest. And then begin to straighten your left leg, clasping your hands around your left ankle here. And then straighten your left leg and just breathe in here. Inhale here, just one more breath, and then bringing your left leg down to the mat, and have your legs out in front of you, and your arms open to the sky. Now here's the moment if you need, you might want to take a rug, and just place it over you as you begin sink into your mat. on your heart and one on your stomach and just notice your breath here and sink deeper and deeper into the mat and into your practice. If you find that your thoughts are returning to anything you have to do, maybe tomorrow, the next week, 
or you think of the day as something that maybe didn't make you relax, just acknowledge those thoughts with no judgment. Let them pass. Detach yourself from them and come back to your mat and this practice today. Breathing in peace and tranquility through your body. From here, slowly begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your palms. Bring your soles of your feet to the mat and then let your knees drop out to the side and fall onto your pillow. And then sit up back to where we began, slowly and mindfully into an easy pose, legs crossed. in front of you. Loop the shoulders round. Lift your palms up above your head. Bring them together. Bring your palms to your heart. And we bow and say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I really hope you have a nice, peaceful sleep and I hope to see you again soon. Love and light.